Hey there and welcome back to the video series about how you create a RESTful API in Firebase using Cloud Functions. And we ended up having created one product in our product collection, we can see it here, with key value pairs, okay? So we made a route, create route post in the method, sends data to the, to the API where we create a new product in the database, all right? So it's time to make the read and I think we're going to start with with uh, the route where we can read a specific product based on ID. So the same structure and this should be get because we're getting data, we're not posting data to the API. So it should be read and then uh, slash colon ID. So we need to provide the ID number in our uh, request here. So let's imagine we use this one here and it's going to be read slash one for the ID with ID one. And we're going to take this code away and probably we can, use, we can reuse the try catch because we're still interfacing to a database. Things might go wrong here. So first we're going to make a constant that will hold the document. We're going to use the database reference. Access the collection with products. Then we're going to get the document with the ID. Whoop. With parameters ID. So we request to get the document with the ID number that is in the parameters of our request. So that means this parameter there. And that's going to be loaded into the document constant, hopefully. Then we're going to create a variable here that will hold the actual product here. So we're going to get the actual uh, product from our document. And we're going to start uh, making a response to Postman, or to our front end, where we're going to get the data oh, from our product. And then finally, we're going to send the response back. So we're going to return a response, 200, OK, and then send the actual product data in this response here. So read and slash colon ID and products and yeah. Let's see if this will work here, okay? So we will start our development server. And we can already now go into the Postman application and then create a new reader specific Oop. based on ID. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy the URL here and put this into the new. It's going to be a get request and app API slash read. And I'm just going to just going to save this one so I don't mess up this route here. Okay, let's see if we have our server running. Yeah, it seems like that. So let's send the request, see what happens. So we can see here that we get status 200 and we get product A. And now it's been formatted prettily, or pretty. Uh, we can also get the uh, a more raw content. This is what what the front end or postman actually receives. So if we create a new product, product B, more awesome. Okay, this is more expensive. Oh. So we create a new product, if I'm actually able to type here. So we send this new product to our API and 200. So now we can get the product with um, ID2, if we want to do that, hopefully. Yeah, so we can get product B. So we can get individual specific products now using this new 
route here that will get the specific uh, I think I'm going to end the video here and in the next video we're going to create the generic one, the one that's going to create all the products uh, in a read. Alright, so stay tuned for this next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.